Hello, good, good evening, happy Tuesday evening. Ah, uh, for exercise, how about some sit-ups, maybe? Is it? Yeah. I think that's... It's been a while, I think. Um, yeah. Sit-ups, yeah, sure. No, I think we did it quite recently. Um, well, actually, I've been to uh, the gym. So, what we're going to do is, for exercise, is maybe uh, jumping, crawling, rolling, right? Sure. Okay. Okay. Rolling. So that's that. Oh, roll to the side. <laughs> and crawling. Let me unplug this. Get extra hard drive. Crawling, huh? Okay, crawling. Okay, so roll to the side. And then crawling. Okay. On the back. Forward, backward. I know it looks weird, but... It's fun. Okay, that's really good. Now, <sighs> uh, martial arts, sure. Ah, uh, well, maybe crane style, maybe crane style, sure. Yeah. That should be good. Let's take five minutes break, please. Thank you. <sighs> okay. <sighs> 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 <sighs>
Okay, so happy Tuesday, everybody. Uh, let's see. Uh, so I finally. You know what's complete, Sorry. Um. Yeah. Sorry about being late like this. Yeah. So, ah, water. Mm. Let me get some drinks too, okay? So, because, uh, yeah. Um, <sighs> it's just so many things to prepare. Like for this show, like grabbing drinks and wearing Hawaiian t shirt and <laughs> doing exercise and whatnot. So, yeah, I finally did the drawing. I not drawing, but coloring. Coloring, okay. I was wanting to do that, okay. Why? Because it's been since very long time since I did anything approaching fine arts. You know what? It is hot, so I don't need any of this. My legs are pretty, so <laughs> I'm wearing shorts. Okay, so now the uh, <laughs> the I'm sorry for being like this. Okay, but. I think my feet are pretty too. You wanna see my feet? I don't know, whatever. I, I wash myself, okay, every morning. I mean, Monday to Friday, so I'm, I'm clean, okay, so. I wash my shoes at least once a week nowadays. Right? I realized how important it is to uh, wash my shoes because back in the days, I used to put just foot powder, then it start, my toenails start to develop some kind of uh, Allergic reaction to it with side effect Too much food powder. Okay, so you know what? I'm gonna just start washing my shoes like every week So I have like 10 pairs of white running shoes Size 12 size 13, okay, same brand Walmart is like $11 per pair 10 pairs, okay, so I switch them out every week Because I wash them once a week, okay I think that works better. Yeah. I used to have toenail fungus, but now it's gone because I had some Walmart brand toenail fungus, uh, the liquid medicine. It works. It works very well. Okay. So, yeah. And so I used that too much so that. Toner fungus solution, anti toner fungus medicine, is I start to have some side effect too. So I was like, you know what? I just wash my shoes on a regular basis. And I, I think that's the best solution, okay? Yeah. Now let me grab some jacket. So I finally did my coloring. Why is it so important? Uh, because it's been such a long time since I did any fine art. And uh, some of my siblings' children are in high school and they're preparing for college entrance exam. They're gonna ma major in fine arts, okay? 
uh, so I want to show them some moral support. So I took picture and sent it to them. Okay, yeah. Fine art majors. Okay, so keep them some support. You know, yeah. My nieces and nephews. Okay, so now. Uh, another reason is to advertise my campaign. Mm -hmm. If I, yeah, so it's a monthly newspaper, okay? So if they select my coloring, typically it's reserved for children, right? But re recently I learned that, uh, not, not some adults submit their coloring too. Okay. Which is an interesting concept, right? Yeah. Back to the ch ch innocence, right? Yeah. So I did that. It took me about 30 minutes, I guess. Maybe an hour. You want me to show you? This is my cell phone, okay? I, I took a picture of that, okay? So, yeah, I, I mailed it to the newspaper. They are my friends, okay, editors? So, maybe they have a good laugh, okay? <laughs> Age 43, 43 year old. <sighs> Alaska's United States candidate coloring like a child. That'd be fun, right? Creative campaign. Right? Yeah. Creative campaign. So, yeah. It was nice. It was, it was nice. Yeah. So I did that. Also, Another reason why I did the coloring is that I was so full. I had dinner, okay. What dinner did I, did I have? A waffle, not double waffle, not triple waffle, just regular waffle and french fries, small fries, bottle of milk, the Burger King, okay. It was so, I was so full. So, uh, of, of course, no cheese, no mayonnaise, okay. Mm. I was so full, I needed some time to digest before I started drinking. Right? Yeah, so triple purpose, okay? Yeah. Hmm? My nieces, nephews, they're, they're, they're in South Korea, okay? So some of them are preparing for the college entrance exam to major in fine art, okay? Yeah, so to show them moral support. Yeah, for me, in my campaign, which I'm going to submit to local newspaper, Coloring monthly coloring contest, okay, yeah, for campaign advertisement. Thirdly, yeah, to just digest. Now, my stomach is comfortable. I think it digested. Waffle meal, it was good. Yeah, yeah. I I missed burger so. Was good. What else? So, in Canada, nowadays there's big news about this uh, Canadian native children's grave found in former Canadian residential schools. Okay. Yeah, yeah I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. But, uh, uh, so why did those Canadian children die? We'll talk about that in five minutes, okay? Let's take, take five minutes break, okay? And then we'll talk about it, okay? It's being news nowadays, internationally, okay? I'm so sorry, okay? Uh, it's sad news, and um, so let's talk about it, okay? Yeah. Okay, five minutes, please. Thank you. Okay.
So, uh, the residential schools of Canada was it about some cultural background. Um, 
I think it happened back in uh, early 1900s. Uh, maybe 1800s too. I'm not too conversant on Canadian history, to be honest with you. But for the little that I know, uh, it happened in America too. Okay, it happened in Alaska, America as well. Okay. Uh, it's called assimilation program. Okay, they wanted to assimilate native natives, native tribes in Canada also in Alaska, America, so that to erase their culture and to teach them English and to be, make them beco become Westerners, okay? It happened in Alaska, America, and also Canada too, okay? So, it's some sad chapters in North America's history, but that's how bad it was back then, okay? Yeah, it was, it was a lot worse than today. People nowadays, they say, oh, nowadays America is so bad. No. Compared to America back in the days, America got a lot better. Okay? That's enhancement of dominant evil ideology. So, yeah, today's dominant evil ideologies, they're bad, but they're not nearly as bad as dominant past ideologies back in America. Okay. Some people call it cultural genocide. Uh, sure. And it's today it's happening in China. Okay. Western China, there are Uyghur people, Uyghur. Okay. Uh, they're kind of going through some just cultural education. <laughs> They teach like Chinese value, like communism, okay. The Uyghur people, I think there's maybe some other tribes too, okay. Uyghur people, they're kind of half Western, half Asian, okay. Yeah, um, they kind of look Western, okay. There's Western China, okay. Yeah, some cultural assimilation, that's what China is doing nowadays. But America used to do that too. 100 years ago, okay, so China and America, they're going through different stages of evolution, okay, yeah. Yeah, Mr. Mike Pompeo harshly criticized it as a, just blankly, bluntly put, just genocide, but it's not genocide, it's cultural genocide, okay, yeah. Uh, so, Canadian residential school, they uh, basically kidnapped all the native children in Canada and put in the dormitory school. And so how did all those children die? Yeah, mostly pneumonia, tuberculosis. They died from disease. So it was not genocide. It was pandemic. That's how those children died. Okay. And yeah, they, they buried in the mass grave in those schoolyards. Okay. So. But it's not like they all died, okay? Uh, a lot of children died, okay? It, it, it was pandemic, okay? Yeah. We're sorry, okay? So some angry people in Canada, after this mass children's grave was discovered, uh, they start, some of them start to burn historical church buildings in Canada, okay? Yeah, well, I guess they are angry, okay? But, I oppose that kind of violence. That's arson. That's a felony. Okay. How about BLM? I oppose violence. I oppose vandalism. I oppose all the arson, looting, theft. Those, those are crimes. Okay. I don't think there's proper response in democracy. And also, that's domestic terrorism too. Okay. So, some uh, police officers in Capitol Hill, I think it's a couple of days ago, they had this hearing in Congress about January 6th riot investigation hearing. And then they said, 
yeah, we can prepare Capitol Hill police officers and they read the United States, States statute about what the definition of domestic terrorism. What is it? Uh, I'll read in the news in my spare time, okay? Now, domestic terrorism is use of violence or intimidation uh, to change national policies. Yeah, so BLM was domestic terrorism. January 6th? Yes, it was domestic terrorism. Hmm? So January 6th proved that Republicans are no better than Democrats. Okay. They use mobs to change domestic policies. Yeah. So they got even, okay? Republicans, they got even somehow with Democrats. BLM and January 6th, okay. By the way, Pebble Paper 1 and 2, yeah, they're doing great. Uh, Pebble Paper 1, about 40 downloads, 180 views. Pebble Paper 2, about 30 downloads and about 200 views. So when it, when it comes to views, yeah, Pebble, my, Pebble Paper 2, it caught up. When it comes to downloads, it's still behind. So yeah, I, I kind of enjoying this watching the racing between paper, paper 1 and 2, okay. Private joy. Yeah? So I was thinking about, you know what? Should I write paper, paper 3? I might. And there's this 20,000 pages long, uh, what, baseline, So it's an EBD, environmental baseline data, whatever. Okay. By Pebble Partnership. Yeah, they hire some scientists and some consultant firms. There are 20,000 pages long report to submit to U.S. Army Corps of Engineering. Okay. In my spare time, I start reading it. But you just said, yeah, if you have a faith, as small as most are said, you can move the mountain, okay? Yeah, sure. Then, when I was, I just, just flipping pages, just reading here and there, okay? When I was hitting like over 30, 300 pages, you know, I stopped. You know, I, I'm like, I don't want to do this. Twenty thousand pages. How many zeros are there? Twenty thousand. Okay. So, let's say I mean page two hundred. Okay. So what percentage is there? Twenty thousand. So two thousand two hundred. Okay. I mean like percentage one one percent. So to go through all this, two, twenty thousand pages. It will take me a hundred days, three months. <sighs> I might do it. We'll see. Because sometimes, I mean, wouldn't my time better spent learning Russian, foreign language? as opposed to going through this 20,000 pages long report about Pebble, written by Pebble Mine and their people who work for them, okay, contractors. Uh, I mean, yeah, I learned something new there, okay, but uh, 
I get to see more lies that EPA committed. Okay, yeah. But is it worthwhile? My time. Wouldn't my time better spent in studying like Russian language instead? So yeah, I'm, I'm kind of wondering, okay. So I don't know. But if I'm going to do it, what I'm going to do is I set aside about one hour, two hours after work. So I come home like 5.30ish, Monday to Friday, also during the weekends, okay? Just before I start this uh, human allergy episode, okay? Yeah, about one, two hours per day, I just read for three months, it might take less than that. It probably will take less than that. I, my guess is, it, I, I just, I don't read like word by word. Twenty thousand pages long, and they are kind of redundant reports anyway. So, probably will take one month for me to finish it. At least flip through pages and making some notes. Hmm? One month, just to review this twenty thousand paper pages report. Okay, Carlos textbook, like calculus textbook, it's like typically it's like 1,000 pages, okay? And we are talking about 20 of them, there's 20,000 pages report. 20 college book, like two, three inch thick calculus kind of textbook or biology textbook, okay? Two inch thick, right? 20, 20 textbook, so, you know, it kind of reminds me of this, reminds me of this dream I had. It was like the day before final exam in college, in my nightmare. There were these decks of textbooks, like this high. Yeah, about 20 textbooks to study. Maybe it's kind of deja vu. Maybe I should do this. <laughs> sure. Yeah. But today, after work, I did the coloring, okay, but that one is done, right? So starting tomorrow after work, I put aside one, two hours and start reading this pro pebble. I mean, the, yeah, pebble partnerships are 20,000 page long report. I'll do that, okay? It'll take about a month, okay? After that, you'll start writing paper, pro pebble paper three. Why? That's the only campaign I'm doing. My US senatorial campaign from Alaska. Because that's my number one priority in my campaign, okay? There's nothing else. Well, there are other stuff, but they be my number one priority. Why? Because it's intriguing, okay? And also, Pebble is a hot-button topic. Everybody have some opinion about it. Controversial is attention gatherer. That can be great for advertisement of my political campaign, okay? senatorial campaign. And why, yeah, that's hackneyed old not too many people are interested in that topic anymore. Why? Right? Because it's old topic. It's aged. Not exciting. Because it's been there for a very long time. Okay. But Pebble, that's fresh. And people feel very strongly about Pebble. Either strongly for it or against it. Okay. So you will get a lot of attention. Okay. So I think it's worthwhile. Okay. Russian, I, I, I am studying Russian. My, when I drive, 
at Toronto City eh? in my car when I'm driving. I, I am learning Russian, okay? Probably that's good enough, okay? I also listen to Russian radio channels too when I drive. Okay. okay. We'll take five minutes break, please, okay? Thank you. <sighs> okay, let's say five minutes.
So, I have different groups of friends, and like in Twitter, it's mostly like political friends. Why? Because in Twitter, I befriended a lot of like investors in Pebble Mine. Okay, so, so those are my political friends. Okay, politics, business. Okay, but no, I, I'm not a shareholder. In in any corporations, okay. Yeah. Other friends, uh, totally, hundred percent non-political friends, okay. I some other social medias, like Instagram or LinkedIn. I don't talk about politics whatsoever. I don't, okay. They're purely social. I just post my selfies, right? And um, yeah. In Facebook, it's half and half. Okay, so yeah, different groups of friends in social media. Okay, yeah, I we need them all, right? Yeah, like uh, because we don't want to talk about politics with everybody, right? <laughs> yeah. So. Some social medias I don't talk about politics at all. Okay, just purely social. Yeah. yeah. So cool. Diversification of friendship. Okay? Yeah. And <clears throat> yeah. What else? So I'm sorry. To talk about pebble, 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 I'm sorry, yeah, pebble people, pebble people, okay, I'm sorry about that, but, uh, uh, I recently read some articles written by some other secular scholars about pebble mine, okay, good research, okay, yeah, so, all writers, writer, they're also readers, to write a book or articles, yeah, they research, they read. What other people have written, okay? Hmm. Yeah. Some people speculate that China is behind anti pebbleism okay? But I don't think there's any evidence for it. I think they're speculating, okay? But some people write it as if it's, a, it's an established fact, but it's not. It's speculation, okay? So there is this New York-based uh, pro-environment group. Uh, they have some ties with China. Okay, I read about it. Okay, so uh, first it's reported in Wall Street Journal, Forbes magazine, and some other people read about them and then cited them. Okay, uh, so I, I looked up that company. I looked up some reports. Uh, that New York-based um, pro-environment activist group, uh, they are funded by all different kinds, but uh, uh, they, I guess they, they get some funding from China too. So they didn't quite criticize Chinese mining practice, but they did criticize pebble mine. Okay? So they are not being fair about America and China, okay? But so this New York-based American pro-environment group did not criticize China, but it, it did criticize pebble mine in America, okay? Although America, pebble mine is sponsored by Canadian mining company, okay? Yeah, it's plot thickens, right? Yeah, it, it's very interesting, okay? I think it's worthwhile to further investigate, okay, so, so, 
Um, because this China, Chinese mining companies are some clients of them, okay? So, yeah, and there, actually there's some congressional investigation about that. New York-based pro-environment group, okay? Yeah, well, that much is true, okay? So, some people speculate that um, maybe this American pro-environment group, activist group, is funded by China, at least partially, and then uh, yeah, China, they have mining industry, and maybe they want to suppress the competition, and maybe China is behind uh, this anti pebble to suppress the competition, okay? There's some speculation about it, okay? <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it could be true. I don't know. Because those are trade secrets. Like client privilege, client communication, okay? Just like attorney client privilege, kind of confidential communication, okay? So most likely we'll never know, okay? Because those clientele can communication are protected by law, okay? It's trade secret, kind of. Okay. Those are privileged communication, okay? Confidential. Okay? If I'm providing a service, like I could be a psychiatrist, lawyer, or priest. Okay. And people, my clients, they confess to me. Those are confidential by law. Mm -hmm. So. Okay. It's kind of like trade secret, okay? Confidential communication between client and service provider. Huh? Yeah. Then, some articles of a pe pebble, okay, they talk about Mr. Tucker Carson of Fox TV, he's a Republican, conservative, right? And Donald, well, Donald Trump Jr., the son of Donald J. Trump, both Tucker Carlson, Donald Trump Jr., and I remember the third gentleman's name, something like Mr. Ayers, who used to work for Trump as an advisor, they were anti pebble <laughs> Some people speculate that maybe they are anti pebble because they are very heavily wealthy, like multi-millionaires, each of them, okay? And they are Republicans. Maybe they took, they take vacation, summer vacation in Iliamna Lake, on a fishing boat. And maybe they don't feel comfortable fishing in Iliamna Lake, right next to a pebble mine. Maybe hurt, maybe they don't feel comfortable fishing there, okay? So maybe that's why they are anti pebble okay? So there are some other, other speculations. <laughs> it's hilarious, okay? So pebble, oh my goodness, it's such an intriguing topic, okay? There's no question about it. Some conspiracy theories, right? Yeah. It's fun, right? Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know what else I will be doing for my campaign other than researching Pebble, writing about it. I don't know what else I will do, okay? I thought about stand up comedy, okay? But I did email to stand up comedy company, Actors True. It's not their name, okay? Just, you know, True Power Actor, whatever. But it's not their name, I'm just making stuff, okay? So, yeah. But they didn't get back to me, okay? Maybe that I freaked them out in the email. What did I write? Give me five minutes break, okay? I some book artist. Then I tell you what I wrote then, okay? Yeah. <sighs> yeah. No, no, it's not confidential. Why? I own the copyright, I wrote the email. Okay. And 
there's no deal, no contract. So no, it's not confidential. No. I own the copyright, okay? So I can tell you about it, okay? <sighs> okay. Because I'm not their client, okay? Even if I'm their client, yeah, I own the copyright. I know copyright law, okay? I'm a lawyer, okay? So, and they are not my client either, okay? I'm more like job applicant, okay? So, if I write a cover letter to, my, to potential employer, I own the copyright. They are not my client. There's no contract here, not yet, okay? And then not responding to me for by now a couple of weeks. Yeah, that constitutes refusal. So there's no contract, employment contract, okay? Five minutes, please. Thank you. All right.
Yeah, I just, I just wrote in the Twitter that, uh, yeah, I start reading, I mean, I continue to read this 20,000 paper, <laughs> page, 20, not paper, 20,000 page long report written by Pebble, EBD, I don't know what it stands for, Environmental Baseline <sighs> Data or something like that, okay. It's about, what's EBD? Yeah, it, it, it's about their research, preliminary research about Pebble Mine site, which is very tiny. It's like five square mile, like two mile by two mile. Over five square mile. I was surprised. Okay. The, the Pebble Mine deposit is not that big at all. It's tiny. It's, it's two, two mile by two mile. Okay. So about five square mile. That's all there is, okay? And it contains $500 billion worth of gold, copper, molybdenum, and silver, and other like, palladium, uranium, precious metals, okay? They did a lot of environmental impact statement, ice, okay, or meteorology, fauna, Flora, animals, plants, all around there, okay. It's that's the EBD that they study then. So sub, to submit to uh, the U USA's United States Core of Engineering. Okay? Yeah. That is thorough studying there, okay. Although biased, because they paid those scientists, PhDs, to maybe perhaps give them some favorable report, okay? And from what I've read, pro pebble papers written by other people, okay. Yeah, they have, they have some good plans for the locals and also many, many locals welcome that. Yeah, create new jobs. In this survey of pebble mine site, potential pebble mine site, they hired locals and trained them, gave them jobs and pay them, okay. So locals, they loved it, okay. Not all of them, but Many of them, okay, yeah, including people who fish there, commercial fishermen, okay, yeah. Because they care about their children, okay, they want to give them options. Okay? You want to be a minor or fisher? Yeah, more degree of freedom, okay. 
Yeah, so Twitter, I just wrote that, yeah. I start reading, I, I keep on reading, yeah, I finished reading 20,000 papers, page long report, EBD study of Pebble partnership, and then it will take a month after that I start writing uh, Pro Pebble Paper 3, okay, so I just announced that, okay. But I'm not gonna promise you that actually I'm gonna go through that, okay. Limited liability, okay, some waiver, whatever. Anyway, so what did I wrote to this uh, my nickname? Yeah, Actors Troopers, okay. It's not their name. I don't remember what their name is, okay. I just gave them the nickname, okay. So yeah, I was like, hey, yeah, I want to join you guys, girls. I used to be an actor. Wait, I'm not verbal team deciding it, okay, what I wrote to them. Paraphrasing it, okay. Yeah, back in the days, here is my IMDb credit, copy and paste of website link, IMDb. My movie, Therapy for Metrophobia, okay? Yeah. And here's the actual movie link in YouTube, okay? Yeah, you can watch it. It's 70 minutes long movie. I made it all by myself, and you can watch it for free, okay? Are you an actor yourself, okay? Do you remember when you had stage fright? Stuff like that, okay, yeah. I didn't talk about politics. I didn't introduce myself as a US Senate candidate from Alaska. No, just acting, okay, filmmaking. Yeah, that's pretty much it, okay. And they didn't get back to me, no problem. Maybe they don't have any free slots. Maybe they're full, fully staffed, okay. But they go to restaurants, venues only on the weekends, okay? Yeah, I, I have, because I have weekday job, full time day job, okay, as a lawyer. So, okay. Yeah, weekends I can do it, okay? In a sense, it's a relief that they did not get back to me. Why? I don't want to commit myself to go to places, stand up comedy gig, doing weekends. When I was younger, I was able to do that, but I'm not that young anymore. I'm 43, okay, so I'd rather not do that, okay. So. So I'm, I'm, I'm glad that they didn't get back to me, okay. So I don't quite want to do it, okay. So I'm too old to work on the weekends, okay. I'd rather not, okay. Oh, pro paper? I, yeah, yeah, reading, yeah, it's just flip through pages, PDF, okay. No problem. I can do it at home. I don't have to drive, go out there. Writing, after one month of reading, 20,000 pages, just flipping through it, making notes. Yeah, writing, I mean, pro paper too, it took me only one week for me to write. Pro paper paper three, uh, most likely it will be more than 40 pages. Maybe like 50 pages, maybe 100 pages, okay? It, it may take me a couple of months to write. I can do it, why? Because I, I will be at home, reading and writing at home, okay? Yes, during the weekends too, and weekday nights. That I can do, just one, two hours each session. Yeah, I can do it. That's easy. Yeah, kind of sedentary. Yeah, I am very sedentary, okay? I, I'm very domestic. I don't like traveling very much. I don't. If I go hiking, nowadays, it's at most one hour drive from here. Matsu Valley, okay? Just outside of Wasila. That's where this house is, okay? Unincorporated area in Matsu Boro. I like it that way. Why? It's kind of like, give me this feeling of natural, naturalist. Not being inside of city, but outside of city, suburb. I like that. More space. Yes, more trees. Okay. Pebble mine side, there are no trees there. It's kind of tundra, swamp, bog. Wetland, okay, there are no trees there, okay, so. That's a good point, some other writers 
pointed out, okay? So we are not killing any trees, okay? <laughs> That's a good point. Okay? So what would be the title Pro Pebble Paper 3? Pro Pebble Paper 1, yeah. Neo Pro Pebble Mine Project. Huh? Paper 2, Neo Neo Pro Pebble Project. No, not Pro. Neo Pebble Mine Project, Volume 2. Colon, a defensive essay. I think it was very beautifully written title, okay? So I, I think a lot of people liked it, okay? Yeah. A defensive essay, okay? How about Pro Pebble 3? Neo Pebble Mine Project, Volume 3, colon. Then a phrase, couple of words. Do you have any suggestions? <laughs> Let me know. Okay. We take five minutes break, okay? I think about it, okay? We think about it together. Okay? We want it to be beautiful, impressive, and charismatic, right? I'm kind of excited to write this one. So, how did I get involved in all this pebble? Yeah, I kind of felt sorry because they. Stock price tanked, okay? I wanted to help, okay? They're investing in Alaska with their own hard-earned money and because of this ideological wind force swing, okay? Pro-pebble, anti-pebble, okay? Ideologies, okay? Anti-pebbleism ideology, okay? It depressed the stock price of pebble mine partnership, okay? So I, I felt sorry. Good. They want they invested in Alaska, okay. I'm in Alaska. So I wanna do my part to give something back to them. I want to help them out. Okay. It's based on compassion. Yes, human compassion, sympathy, okay. Yeah. I'm I'm a human being, I have emotion, okay. Sympathy, compassion. I, I have some too, okay. So I'm not a robotic kind of okay, I'm not I have emotion, okay. <laughs> Even I have emotion, okay? So, five minutes, please. Thank you. Okay.
Okay, so any suggestion to this title, titling of this uh, Pro Pebble Paper 3? I'll give you a minute, okay? Then I'll tell you what I came up with. Okay? Yeah. Let's hear our ideas, shall we? Yeah. <sighs> then we'll stop talking about pebble or politics. We'll talk about Tokyo 2021 Olympics game, Summer Olympics. They say 2020 Olympics game, I guess it's delayed by a year because of COVID-19. Yeah, whatever. Okay, time's up. What would be a nice, nice title? For this uh, propel paper three, hmm? you start with this, okay? Yeah, Neo Pebble Mine Project colon. Then what? What I came up with this, okay? If you come up with better idea, yeah, please share with us, okay? Yeah, please feel free, okay? Yeah. We are doing this together, okay? Yeah. Otherwise, yeah, it'll be like this, okay? A uh, new pebble mine project colon philosophies and ideologies in rocks. Can't rhyme with S. <laughs> philosophies and ideologies in rocks. This is about rock mining, okay? <gasps> Rhyming of S and S, and S, that's like 666, Antichrist. <gasps> no, I'm not Antichrist, I'm for Christ, I love Jesus. Just trying to rhyme. Plurals in English nouns, English grammar, come on, give me a break. You don't want that? Sure. How about this? Philosophy and ideology in rocks. But that sounds doesn't quite rhyme. Philosophy and ideology in rocky. Yeah, it's, it doesn't work that way, okay? So, yeah, we just stick with the original, okay? Anyway, we're done, okay? For this episode, okay? Pebble discussion. Now, Olympics Games, yeah. I just looked it up in my cigarette break outside. Yeah, I guess they Tokyo Olympics yeah, opening ceremony. I only watched part of it because I guess it's copyright protected. I could not find it on YouTube, okay. But I watched this. Remember watching this drone camera, drone camera, okay. It was very cute, okay. Yeah, kind of vertical. Yeah, filming all that. Open ceremony and whatnot, okay, so I was looking up for that and then I image search I found some these pictures about opening ceremony. I guess they finally did that Intel drone true drone trooper, okay. Oh I just watched some snapshot of that image search, okay. Because in Couple of years ago, so Winter Olympics, Olympics game. Yeah, they tried to do this drone show. Intel, American-based company, San Francisco, Silicon Valley. Okay, yeah, they tried to do that, but some logistical logistical issues ar arose, so they didn't quite do it. Okay, I think it was in Pyeongtaek, about two hours south of South Korea, Seoul, South Korea. I think I've been to that town for fishing when I was in high school. Middle school, I guess. Okay. They have nice legs there, okay. Yeah. I guess it was too windy, okay. Drones, they don't do well when it's windy, okay. But in this Tokyo Summer Olympics game, I guess it was not windy that day. <laughs> so I guess there is some aerial drone, light, light up. Drone show, okay. I guess they succeeded in their venue, okay. Great, yeah. Kind of Star Wars theme, okay. That's what I've seen in the image search, okay. Huh? 
Okay. Great. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it, it is. I think it's very well done. Okay. Yeah. I look forward to watch this Tokyo Summer Olympic 2020 uh, opening ceremony. Okay. It, I guess it's copyright protected, so uh, and there were not many audience members, so they cannot quite. There are not many people filming that in the cell phone, okay. COVID-19 is still going on, okay. Yeah. It's copyright protected, so they cannot publish in the YouTube, I guess. Whatever. But let's talk about COVID-19, okay. Yeah, they say Delta variant, Lambda variant, all these variants. That's what virus do. They mutate. Because they are simple. What's virus is just single strand of DNA or RNA with this protein coding, okay, that's what virus is, okay, it's, uh, so they can mutate very easily, okay, that's what they do, they mutate, okay, so Delta variant, Lambda variant, whatever, Alpha variant, Beta variant, they keep mutating, okay, that's why I'm kind of anti-vaxxer, okay, virus, okay, what we, should we do? I mRNA based vaccine, which is great technology, I get it, okay. They say they can encode this mRNA based vaccine. So then what should we do for all our lives? Get vaccinated for COVID-19 every year, twice a year, whenever COVID-19 viruses, they decide to mutate to alpha, beta, gamma, delta, lambda, chi, whatever, zeta. So we should get vaccinated every day, every year, twice a year, hmm? for the rest of our lives. How about diet and exercise? I mean, I'm fully vaccinated twice. Pfizer vaccine, which is very good vaccine. I heard AstraZeneca or Moderna or Johnson & Johnson, those vaccines, they have side effects, okay? But Pfizer vaccine, they say it has, I think it's the least side effect, possibly the best vaccine. That's what I got, Pfizer vaccine twice, okay? I'm fully vaccinated, okay? Why, why did I get vaccinated? I didn't have a choice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was mandated to get vaccines, but I advocate for diet and exercise, immune system. That's the best vaccine ever. Okay, yeah, that's what I advocate for. Okay? Strong immune system, antibody in our body. Yeah, whatever mutation virus does. Okay, if our immune system is strong enough, efficient body efficient immune system, then yeah, antibody in our system, yeah, they, they mutate too. They customize according to this brand new mutated vaccine, I mean, virus, <laughs> okay? That's like virology 101, biology 101. I learned that in school, okay? That's how immune system works, okay? But politicians, some of them are smart, but others, they're like blank. Why? They're so busy. Yeah, good old American English maxim, proverb, yeah. All works and no play. All work and no play makes Jim a dull boy. That's most of politicians. They're just dull, dumb. Why? That's because they're too busy. I'm like, busy with what? They're doing wasteful, useless things. Politicians, party fights. Huh? Sometimes party infights. They're doing politics. Huh? They are doing wasteful things. They are wasting taxpayers' money. You get pro-Trump, anti-Trump, or whatever. 
What's present by the history? Immigration law. Okay. If I was the president, it's simple. Okay. Yeah. Build a border wall. Finish building it. Yeah. President Trump, former President Trump, he started the right thing. Okay. But he didn't quite finish it. Why? Because he was not capable enough. Okay? But he did good thing. Start at least starting it. Okay. If I'm the president now, yeah, I'll finish building the southern border wall. Period. That's it. Immigration policy, we just let it be as it was. Okay. Because there are more important issues than that. Okay. COVID-19, yeah, just diet, exercise, okay, as the President of the United States, I do one hand push-up in front of camera, national camera, international camera, international audience, one hand push-up, jumping, dancing, martial arts, diet, exercise, reality TV show in the White House, okay, I have name for it, yeah, Alaskans in the White House, okay, because I, I'm going to bring with me my some couple of Alaskan friends to the White House. Okay. Some from some other states too, okay. Yeah. The kind of White House job that does not need Senate senatorial confirmation, okay? Yeah. We do exercise diet in front of TV cameras, okay? And I have some camera crews with me to shop at Walmart to teach Americans what healthy diet is. Yeah, I'm the President of the United States. I'm writing a novel. Okay? Improvisational acting too. Yeah, this is what President of the United States eat. I go to Walmart, buy vegetables, fruits. I just microwave it. I don't need any cooks. I know how to cook, okay? All I need is one refrigerator, freezer, microwave, that's it. I teach Americans how to eat healthy and eat economically. It does not take that much money. Fruits, vegetables, pre-cooked, pre-washed, huh? Just water, microwave it. It takes very little money and very little time to cook a meal and eat them. I show Americans and the world how simple it is to eat healthy. How inexpensive it is to eat healthy and to exercise, I take my camera crews in the White House. I just run to push ups and sit ups. It costs nothing. Zero penny exercise. I show them. When I was the President of the United States, I would be an educator or teacher. I show the world how easy it is, how cheap it is to be healthy. Regular exercise and diet, very cheap, but it will take some discipline though. I spend time with them, you know. Yeah, reality TV show. And it will make some money too. But people will watch it. There is some advertisement revenue there too. That's what I'll be doing in White House if I'm the President of the United States. And nothing else. Monday to Friday for four years, okay. The legislation, that's Congress's job, that's not President's job. Congress let them make all the laws, okay? Yeah. As a president of the United States in the White House for four years. I just been having fun with cameras and reality TV shows in the White House around Washington DC, okay? I'm not gonna go anywhere.
I'm very domestic, very sedentary, but uh, yeah, I do exercise and diet, okay, some martial arts dancing. White House, I'm sure it has some gyms. If they don't have any kicking, punching bags, I order one with my own money, okay. My presidential salary level will be annually adjusted to average American salary, because I don't need more than that, okay. Of course, food, shelter in the White House, it will be paid by taxpayers' money, okay. Give me some break, okay. But my sa presidential salary will be annually adjusted to annual American salary, because I don't need more than that, okay. Why? I, because my food and shelter and clothing, not clothing, but food and shelter in the White House, it will, it will be provided by taxpayers' money, okay? And it will not cost that much at all. Okay. Because I'm very frugal and economical, okay? I know how to save money. I had to learn it to survive. Yeah. Okay, we'll take five minutes break, please, okay? Okay. Yeah, sounds like a good plan, right? Yeah, it's a political fantasy and uh, novel acting, but still, it, it, we are making some good ideas, right? Yeah. God, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, thank you. At the end of the day, I'm, I'm still Christian, okay? That's my upbringing, so. Yeah. Thank you. God, Jesus, thank you.
Okay. Okay. What else? So today is like what? Tuesday, right? Okay. So com let's talk about compassion. Okay. So I'm not a very particularly compassionate, sympathetic person, right? I'm not, right? I'm more rationality based person, like logic, mathematics, philosophy, rationality, reasons. I don't, I'm not very emotional person, okay? I don't get angry very often, okay? If I get angry, it's for a purpose. To stop some angrier person, okay? Yeah. It's strategic choice. Okay. To stop them, okay? Yeah. To fight fire with a fire, okay? That's why I kind of pretend I'm kind of actor. So I pretend I'm acting an angrier person to calm them down, okay? To stop them, to subdue them, okay? I do that sometimes, once in a while, huh? But that's very rare, all right? Emotionally, yeah, I smile. I'm always happy, okay? Most of times, okay? So, some anxiety, well, it's like, yeah, I drink every night, okay? Yeah, so I go to social media, write some stuff. Next morning, yeah, hangover period, okay? <laughs> Sometimes I regret what I wrote in social media. Some anxiety, okay? So, sure. But it goes away after the day is over, okay? Yeah, go back to work, Monday to Friday, get busy, come home, do some exercise, then it's gone, okay? Yeah. Regular rhythm of life, okay? As a working, hard-working, robot, citizen. Or whatever country. I happen to be in America, okay? Yeah. So, compassion, sympathy, that kind of emotion, well, as a politician wannabe, as a candidate for public office, U.S. Senate from Alaska, okay? Yeah, I want to help out criminals, drug addicts, homeless people. Why? Because they're harming us, law-abiding, hard-working citizens. Criminals, the homeless, drug addicts. They are causing some damage to us, and I don't want that kind of damage. That's why I want to heal them, so that they stop using drugs, stop committing crimes, and stop trashing the streets and hiking trails as homeless people with all this illegal camping. Is it self-serving? Selfish? Yeah. I'm not going to deny that. Yeah. So my prime motivation, primary motivation to help out rehabilitate the homeless, the criminals, the drug addicts, is it because I don't want to see trashes the hiking trail on the streets, homeless people, and I don't want to see any crimes, I don't want to be crime victims, and I don't want to see people getting addicted to drugs. Is it self-serving? Yes, it is. But society is very connected, okay? By solving myself, I'm solving others too. Okay? Yeah. We are connected. 
Okay. If I'm solving myself, it solves others too. Okay. Sometimes do I actually feel sorry when other people are going through some difficulty, hardships? Yes, I do. <laughs> I'm not a robot. I do feel sorry. I do want to help. Okay. Yeah, Friday Night Live, Hunky Lee, episode 4, that's the only episode where they're actually participants in Zoom meeting, Facebook Live, okay. Yeah. I did want to help, and I did, maybe it helped. Yeah, some counseling. Okay. Yeah, maybe it helped. I think it did. At least I entertained them, okay. How? I let them speak. I let them cry too. And I listened. And gave them some recommendations and suggestions. Friday Night Live with Hunky Lee, episode 4, okay? Yeah, you see, that, see it there in YouTube, okay? For free, yeah. Yeah. And they did appreciate my input. Mm -hmm. Because I was older than they were. Okay. I was older than the, all of them, okay? I was the oldest. So yeah, maybe by a couple of more years, by a decade or so. So yeah, I have experienced life. I have gone through some difficulty, financial hardship myself. So yeah, yeah. I share with them what I've learned in my life. Mm -hmm. It was nice. Yeah. At the same time, it's my political campaign too, to demonstrate my problem-solving skill, communication skill, to show to the world that I know how to listen. Okay? It was serious, okay? Yeah. And it went very well, okay? So, very educational. I learned a lot from them too, okay? Good people. Very smart people, okay. In many ways, a lot smarter than me, okay. Because they have different experiences. They learned different things that I have never experienced or learned. A mutual exchange of knowledge, wisdom, experiences, okay. It was very good, okay. So Friday Night Live with Hunky Lee, episode 4. I can imagine that, yeah, it, it will become very mainstream. It, I think it will become very famous. Okay? Because there are a lot, tons of good stuff there. Okay? Yeah, we made some mistakes, some hiccups here and there. Okay, so what? We are all people. People are people. Okay, we make mistakes. We make errors. Okay. People are people. Okay. Okay. It's been two hours, okay? So let's wrap it up for tonight. Okay, yeah. Thank you, God bless you. Thank you for loving me, and I'll be right back, okay? Thank you. Enjoy the rest of the week. Enjoy the rest of the night, okay? Thank you, God bless you. Bye.